we saw a specular company. So now lighting is uh, kind of ready. So uh, we uh, proceeded from fixed texturing and then from a kind of a fixed function pipelining, then texturing through shaders. Then we added a, a specular component. So diffuse also we made light sensitive. Then shininess we added little bit ambience we added. So this is what we have achieved. So what we will do now? So that is the kind of idea. So now uh, we will do transformation. So a, te a texture can have internal transformation. So that we will see. Then we will see multi texture. So we have drawn one texture. What about like I am showing in a very nice image uh, on top of a model, but it should be copyright. And someone should see that this image is copyright. So one image, anyway, whatever we are showing, in little less albums, little transparent way, we can just place a kind of logo of copyright. So, so that is kind of uh, multi texture. So we can use multiple images are pasted upon the model. So we will start with the transformation of the texture and then we will use the multi texture. Then we will little bit will see about movement. So uh, it really helps like zigzag image like clear or shimmering effect uh, with the high mathematical computation unnecessary. What has been doing for the minification where lot of uh, texts are getting mapped to few pixels then minification happens so high density images uh, for that uh, we kind of place many uh, many means what is a logarithmic of whatever the uh, maximum uh, resolution we have like if i have a resolution of uh, 1000 so maximum 7 to 8 uh, intermediate uh, images will come and those images, as per the kind of people, I have eight images. You know, which image will come into the computation for the for the minification filtering? So at that time, uh, kind of uh, one or two, whichever is the near. So those mip map mip map is a set of images. So those mip map images will come into the picture rather than one image is getting a transform, is getting minified. So. So we have option like if I say image 2D means when we upload the image data, then we can upload the image data at many layer and we can say it is at MIP map level, MIP map level 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, whatever. Or we can let the GL open GL algorithm open GL function to create a set of MIP map and then so once we push the MIP map images through either through externally or uh, through the open GL. Uh, uh, functionality, so built-in functions, then that will be used in the minification. So, shimmering effect or glaring effect, so uh, aliasing effect, light, lighted aliasing effect, that should go. So, transformation and uh, multi-texturing and mip memory. So, with that we will finish the, right now the texture. Okay, so we will proceed on other three topics what we discussed. So, a multi-texturing, multi-texturing. So, uh, we can have like, uh, uh, if I have an image, then I can have another image superimposed on it or kind of any type of mathematical combination on it so that uh, we can see both images effect of both images we can use many images in pipeline we will use uh, we, anyway we have used texture unit 0 we will add texture unit 1 ok and mathematical equation ok so so it would be one of them replace modular decal so we will use kind of uh, uh, 1 minus alpha that is the kind of uh, famous uh, uh, blending factor or combining factor 1 minus alpha so that we will use and we will see the effect
okay so in order to have two textures so we will have two texture unit so we will add one more that is diffuse 2 and since we have added diffuse 2 there should be a calculation so whatever we have calculated now there will be two calculation so so i can say this as wick 4 it can be wick 3 also color and wick 4 color 2 now two colors are available now i'll say gl frag color equal to okay so rather i should say uh, this as a, a color of destination and this as color of source okay and here a material diffuse will be 2 and again material diffuse will be 2 so two uh, two sampler we are using so we can say now color uh, destination dot r into 0 0.8 okay so that is 0.8 we are kind of uh, keeping this is 1 1 minus s uh, relationship 1 minus a s 1 minus a s so right now it is kind of uh, okay so 1 minus a s so a s is uh, so here a uh, a means alpha of source is 0 0.2 only okay and color of source dot r into 1 minus 0 0.8 okay so rather i can say uh, with this formula 1 minus 0 0.2 and this as zero point two okay so one minus zero point two and color r zero point two Okay, gone. I thought I can do copy paste. So color of color of T into one minus zero point two plus color of S into zero point two. Okay. Color of T color of D dot R and color of S dot R. Color of D dot g into 1 minus 0 0.2 plus color of s dot g into 0 0.2 okay, so color of d color of d dot rgb into 0 0.2 plus color of s into p 1 minus 0 0.2 color of p into 0 0.2 okay and 1 dot 0 so this is vector 4 so we are done this is what formula we are using vector 4 and color dr color s R color D G color S G color D B and color S okay these calculation are important otherwise we will see something that we we don't expect okay so now we have uh, two samplers if there are two samplers then we have to point their location so now we have two samples so one is another is two and its location we are assigning one 
So this is texture unit uh, 0 and texture unit 1. Now as per the texture unit we will do the work here. So here uh, whatever we are doing this is for texture unit uh, 0. So uh, we will have texture unit now more. Okay, so 3, 2, 3, 4, 4 y y. Okay, now uh, we will activate texture unit 1 and it will have name as text name 1. Now we will have an array. So this will be text name 0. Okay, otherwise init VAO0 is same and GL draw array is only once. Okay, so I can just do like this. Okay, so texture unit 1 and then text name. That's it. Now, we'll search for PNG, whatever way. there is no PNG, there is a JPEG. Okay, so now these people will be twice in number. So, so we had done up to here image.open earth.jpg and so and so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we will kind of make once more and generate textures will be for 2. Okay, now text name this is 0. This it will be an array now and this text name is 1. And here we will place some like aeroplane airplane dot zip dot png and there is no difference so it is done so now we have uh, uh, two texture objects one is text name one and text name two so we'll search with text name whatever we have done okay so this is what we wrote so I think we are okay so this is not we are concerned about so I think we are done okay I will show what is the airplane this is airplane.png okay red is big then white blue white yellow so it is little weird but this is how it is two whites are there okay now I can try Python 3 FGL text. It appeared. Wow. Can we see now? Kind of. Two image. Okay. There are two images. This is white where the focus is. This is blue. This is again white. And this is probably red and green and then again white. Okay, so I think uh, this is a kind of uh, multi texturing. Two images are together. So this can be used to sh show some area, I believe. Okay, so probably we will bring. Okay, so red, white, blue, white, yellow. So that is the idea. Okay, so it is red. So this is green. There is no green. Okay, so this is how it is. So probably this is white then blue, then white, okay, this is yellow probably, oh that is red and this is yellow. So this is how uh, it is appearing after uh, doing the uh, manipulation, we are adding the color.
Okay, so this is how it is. Okay, now we can change a few parameters and we can experiment. So, what we did was uh, we use a different uh, 1 minus s formula. Okay, now I can say this as kind of uh, 0.9. So, substitute 0. 0.2 to 0.9. Okay, now we'll try. Probably we can reduce little bit uh, material dot light dot diffuse light dot diffuse. Oh, it is two. So probably we'll make it one. Then we'll try. Okay, so I think experiment is perfect. Okay, red, yellow, white, blue, but still we can see the map. Okay, point 0.1 is still there in the map. We can see the map. Okay, so this is, I believe it should be bigger. Okay, we have used 40. So probably we can reduce it to 30 and depth display will make it to 10 so that it will appear really big. It is really appearing big. Okay. So where is light position? Light position is at 10. Okay, so light position is at origin now as per the calculation. Okay, so it's fine. So this is how it is. We can make kind of uh, GL black color. Uh, now we can make a kind of uh, 0 0.9 substitute. 0 0.9 to 0 0.1 so now it it should appear even better in the okay so this can be highly used to show some kind of segments this is what i understand Not bad. Okay, so looks great. So now uh, we will focus on the next topic what we have okay so we finish the multi texture texture function we have seen specular lighting mip mapping okay so uh, what we have not shown here is the texture transformation so texture would rotate that is the idea with this is the texture transformation. Okay. So we implement the texture transformation. So for texture transformation, we will have another 
guy here called model view uh, text now this would be transformed so that will be kind of model view text and text coordinate so it would be now vector 4 and rest will place as 1.0 1.0 so we multiply it and whatever comes we take only x y okay so uh, this is how now there nothing to be changed so we have introduced a model view texture so def display uh, we will have uh, another transformation here so we have now 4 y y okay so it will do all the stuff but here we'll introduce one more called texture and if it texture then uh, it will be model view texture and then pop mat that's it okay so we'll introduce so trans formation matrix what we are doing this is local code hopping here and there so we'll introduce one more called texture and that's it so uh, it will do transformation for the texture also and model view model view texture model view texture texture okay so no one can stop us trying our luck okay so line number 16 in the vertex shader so line number 16 dot okay now i'll press two tab and if i do v then now we add the texture shape is selected as texture is selected as shape now i'll do right so it should move right okay i mean it is doing opposite so i'll move so it is moving i am not uh, moving the uh, kind of uh, Okay, so I am moving the texture. Okay, so it will go down. See this, uh, uh, the kind of north pole, I believe it is, or Antarctica. It is flat, it should be round. This is how uh, texture uh, mathematics is going on. Okay, we can across the room. This is X. So this is how it is done. This is Z. Okay, probably we'll bring cylinder. Then it will be great or we'll bring a plane. It will be even great. So sphere dot object. I have a plane. So I'll say plane. So plane is nothing but it's a kind of a square. No such file plane dot of. Okay, it's there. So I'll copy from there. Made blue plane here. I have a cylinder also. Okay, so we'll try again. Okay, I think uh, contrast is very high. So this is the plane and I press two tab and I have come to image. Then now if I do a linear translation, so we can see. Not bad. 
but along I am pressing again two tab so I am coming to sphere now I can do normal transformation also no one can stop me this is normal transformation this is back side this is normal transformation Along with that, we have this transformation. Okay, so this is what we are uh, talking here. So, this is internal transformation that we are achieving. And then along that, we can have global transformation. This is what we are doing. I mean, I think I can bring a cylinder. Then it will be even better. Okay, so Mr. Cylinder has arrived. Okay, now I can move in the cylinder. And I can move cylinder also. Okay, whatever the cylinder position is, then I can move the, the image on the cylinder. Okay, so I can move the cylinder. Okay. And when, while the cylinder is like this, I forgot where we are. Okay, so shape is a sphere, so I'll place one more tab, it come to texture. Okay, so not bad idea that will do. And if you see the image, it is image is uh, multi textured. Okay, so that also we have to mind. So multi textured image, and then a transformation we are doing. So this is how it is. Okay, now image transformation we are doing along y axis. So this is how it would appear along z axis. Okay. If I do transformation along z axis. Okay, so this is valid. Means it looks awkward, but this is valid. Okay, so I'll bring plane again. And then I'll rotate along x, z, z axis that perpendicular to this plane. It's rotating so nicely. Then it would reach, this is kind of tilted. And then it would reach at the same location. Okay, so this is along X, completely valid, tilted and it would reach to same location. Okay, Y means it will come a narrow, at one point there won't be kind of any information, there is no information. Okay, so we we are done with this. Okay. So what else is remaining now? Transformation we saw. MIP mapping. Okay, so uh, MIP mapping, uh, as we talked that there is a simmering effect that generally we get. So we'll first see our okay so earth.png it is more visible there so I'll bring it okay so here 
we'll leave it as plain off view only and okay so i'll bring earth.png let's see if shows the shimmering effect shimmering effect is i think we should multiple that will avoid now so gl frag so i'll say it 0. Point substitute Zero point one to zero. Okay, so we'll remove that guy completely. So it is a pure image now. And if I bring it near, okay, so shimmering is visible. We can see uh, glaring. Okay, can we see this region? Okay, this region we can concentrate, and if it is going far, it is shimmering. And so calculation is very high. I think with the way we have talked, so how much is Earth dot png? Okay, as dot png is big. Uh, it is a six MB, I believe. It's very good. So I think it's okay. Nothing is bigger than that. That is this. so. Clearly, we are seeing the uh, shimmering. Now, how we can avoid the shimmering? Okay, so we'll use MIP map. Okay, so we can generate GL generate MIP map. I think that is the command. Okay, so when we uh, write this, at the down, we have to just call gl generate mip map. So, for this texture object, it would generate mip map. Okay, gl generate mip map, gl texture 2D, gl generate mip map gl texture texture 2d now here in the min minification filter the way we have talked so we'll place something like gl nearest mip, mip map nearest so then it will come to the effect so gl nearest mip map nearest that's it we will try if shimmering is at least it should lessen if it is if it is not going away completely. So I will make it certainly it has gone away completely not less there is no shimmering. There was a wash shimmering. So, what I can do is, uh, we can see the difference, okay, and I'll, so, MIP map, so, I would comment this, comment this, and I'll use whatever we were using, nearest, Okay, so I'll, I'll, I shall show it first. There is a heavy shim. If you see top left, heavy shim. Heavy shim, full image, full shim. Now, if I see this, Okay, 
Okay, so where are we? Light source is a transparent source. No semen. In that comparison, there is no semen. No semen. But if I see this, heavy semen. Heavy semen. No semen. Okay. So, uh, this is so we have finished this. So, little bit uh, we'll talk about the kind of uh, spotlight also. Okay. Okay. So, spotlight is not in the discussion and neither here. But we'll discuss about the spotlight. Otherwise, we have finished everything. Multi-texturing, secondary color and map map. Okay, so there was an image that was heavy. I believe it should be somewhere. Oh, flower.png. So I can copy this. Probably it is very big. Okay, it is very, very big. So, I can earth, now it is flower.png. So, it is very, very big. Now, shimmering would be okay. If we see the center, and now we will enable this. No shape. Okay. But here, if we see the center, there is shape. There is no shape, or it is very less. I think it was more prominent in in other diagram. So okay. So now uh, we'll see uh, spotlight. Okay. Okay, so probably we can get the new kind of curriculum. Okay, so this is the new one. Now we have texture transformation that we have anyway finished. So this is texture transformation um, that we have covered. Okay, so we will add here. Okay, so this is the spotlight uh, what we are talking. Okay, so this is spotlight.
Okay, so in spotlight, uh, this is without any spotlight and we can see that uh, light is kind of uh, only in this area. We can rotate the spotlight and this uh, spotlight is kind of, uh, it has a spot exponent. So it decreases from center to uh, around and this uh, spotlight is kind of uh, only at, uh, uh, so it doesn't decrease, so there is no exponent and we can see the use of a spotlight like in this uh, only center is bright where our spotlight is otherwise it is less illuminated here it is completely dark so we can do whatever we want okay so probably we will change the code now So we don't need anything extra for the spotlight so whatever we have calculated now so only uh, I believe only we are dr uh, drawing the uh, destination one okay so spotlight uh, we will kind of introduce okay one here and d equal to normalize model view transpose inverse model view light ok now uh, this is the spotlight direction that we have to see so spotlight direction is 0 0 1 direction not the position dot x y z okay so transpose uh, inverse model view light will introduce so we had in vertex transpose inverse same thing will introduce in the fragment shader so uh, now we have transpose inverse model view light now uh, this transpose inverse we use for kind of uh, normals uh, that is not on the surface so we are considering this so how uh, uh, this work okay so uh, probably we can proceed and then we will see so here we will do the calculation so now we have d so I will say if dot d dot l greater than equal to cos of 3.14 so this is the angle spot angle cut off angle 1 by 80 ok so if this is the case then we will have a kind of a spot factor spot factor equal to power of max 0 dot d dot l ok so this is the spot factor we are adding so power max 0 dot d dot l and ok so we introduce a spot factor now here we will push the spot factor so I will say spot factor multiplied by whatever we are getting so kind of vec 3 ok now spot factor will kind of push here so I will say float spot factor equal to 0 dot 0 so we are done as per the calculation is concerned and so analogy we will see later now we will introduce transpose inverse now it is pretty simple means so here we have a kind of model view light so we will just copy paste here and model view light so we will add transpose inverse and then 
here or we will do whatever we have done here okay so np transpose np line alg dot inv okay so we will try okay so attribute code name should think 32 okay if d dot l dot d dot l greater than cosine of 3.1 by okay so we'll go back to kind of we can try here also it's nothing like that now we are in light mode so i'll bring the light source so okay so this is light source and light source is going near we can clearly see now it's a spotlight okay i can rotate the spot so since it is only a surface so this much only i can get so we'll change it now to kind of a sphere or cylinder So I would say it sphere and in the PNG I would say earth dot PNG. I think we have another big dot JPEG. Okay. So uh, this is what it is. So uh, I'll I'll bring the cam uh, light source and. So this is the light source. It was <laughs> little far. Okay, so this is the light source and it is going near and finally it is creating a cone. Okay, light source can rotate. Okay, so we have kept things very near to each other. So we'll depth display minus 10 is okay glu perspective okay 1 to 30 will make it kind of 30 and uh, the transformation light position so light position is at 10 so it is quite far so i will make it 5 so that it will be little near okay and and we'll try okay so light source is near now and i can rotate the light source Okay, I can make it glow more. So, for that I have to kind of tweak this and light diffuse, material diffuse I cannot increase but light diffuse I can make it 1.5 I think it is. Okay, and shininess I will make it more so that it will be kind of concentrated. Okay. So it is better. Now a light source will bring it near and this is this is spotlight. Light is only in, in a part. So uh, kind of I can move the spotlight up. I can rotate along x direction. This 
ఇది స్పాట్ ఓకే సో వాట్ ఎల్స్ ఈజ్ రిమైనింగ్ నౌ వీ కెన్ మేక్ ఎ స్పాట్ లైట్ లైక్ ఓకే సో ఇట్ షుడ్ బి సో నౌ స్పాట్ లైట్ ఎస్ వీ సీ దట్ వీ ఆర్ మేకింగ్ పవర్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ డిక్రీజింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద సెంటర్ టు కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్ ద సర్కిల్ సో నౌ ఇట్ విల్ బి కాన్స్టెంట్ ఓకే సో స్పాట్ లైట్ విల్ బి కాన్స్టెంట్ spot light is really constant okay only this part it is illuminating otherwise it is not illuminate i can rotate the spot whatever we see is ambience okay so only this much okay to have little better way this depth display we can make it far little kind of 50 okay so spotlight would rotate and this will make kind of okay so 5 is okay so this is a later it will be converted so it will be smaller but we will see better so this is spotlight and now we can rotate the spotlight okay so this is idea for spotlight can we try a little glu perspective 1 to 30 so angle will reduce to 20 let's see far better okay so this is our spotlight and i can rotate the spotlight when we are rotating okay <laughs> we have not made it a spotlight so now this is spotlight and then i can rotate the spotlight this is ambience whatever we are saying still we can see something okay around the spotlight it is completely dark okay now i can move the space earth also okay so now we can use this like as lens so what we need to do for the lens is okay spot factor is 0.0 so spot factor we can make like 0.7 so that area around it would be illuminated and it would behave like a lens so it is really behaving like a lens okay area around it is also illuminated but that is the kind of uh, what we see there are uh, colors can we see three colors this is one then one more then one more ring okay so one is kind of diffuse uh, outer ring is diffuse and then inner ring is specular so that much is there okay or outermost ring is ambient and then it is diffuse so we can remove the ambient completely so that uh, there will be something okay so these two add to ambience so i can remove the ambience or i'll just copy it before removing i believe one copy is enough and then i can just remove this fellow ambience because anyway we are adding it now we can do it okay ring on we can clearly see so now we have now we can see like uh,
okay so i was trying to bring the sphere near and in that way uh, light cone become kind of severe okay so what is the advantage of this now i can kind of move it see if someone can highlight a particular area even though others are visible but we can highlight a particular area this way okay it is little bit tilted okay so okay it is highlighting some area so that is the class that we can see through spotlight so we covered the spot uh, quickly we'll see the analogy of the spotlight okay so this is what uh, we have already seen so how a spotlight comes into the picture so this is uh, uh, this so this is i and this is light source i believe it is visible okay so this is this is light source now uh, there is something called uh, uh, a spotlight direction so suppose this is a spotlight direction okay so this is so this is the spotlight direction so i would rather say spotlight vector and like in our example we have a kind of a taken a spotlight vector as 0 0 and 1 so this is the spotlight vector now if this is a spotlight then it will make a cone as per the discussion so suppose this is the cone so 30 degree here and 30 degree here so this is the cone now we do d uh, dot of d and l okay dot of d l and l so d is a this is for green color spotlight direction and l is the light so suppose that uh, we are illuminating a point and that point is inside this and it is here if this is here then l is this okay if it is here then from this point to light position l will pass like this so this is l so l okay so this l and this d will do dot and we will find out uh, how much uh, uh, so d dot l and then power of exponent so if whatever exponent is so if this uh, uh, vertex is here if this vertex is is here then the uh, angle is zero so maximum illumination will happen otherwise it will degrade and when it reaches here it is kind of minimum if exponent is there if exponent is not there then all along this all along inside the uh, all along here uh, illumination will be constant but outside the cone okay outside the cone so uh, outside the cone 
there is no elimination or whatever we set explicitly so that is the idea now we are supporting transformation uh, in kind of light so if we are supporting transformation in light then suppose light moves here okay so one time light moves here this is the new position of light now uh, we are also rotating same way uh, if you see the code then d d is getting rotated okay so d is getting rotated through the transpose inverse so the new d would be this okay so new d as per the rotation new d would be this if this is new d and now so it will make a cone as per its habit it will make a cone from here now same fundamental will apply now i want to illuminate a point that is here then in that case the light vector l would be this from this point so this is new light vector l okay so the point underneath it so so the vertex that is here okay so that makes angle so if vertex is here then l would be like this so l and d Uh, direct spot radius they coincide so angle is zero so maximum illumination is there otherwise it is this angle otherwise this is this angle this angle okay so uh, this way uh, uh, the actual transformation happens so okay so uh, that is the scenario so we keep moving the light and uh, d that is the uh, spot direction at the also move and cone also moves and then we start doing d and l so that is the idea about everything so this is what we were seeing and this is without exponent everything is visible and these these are with exponents okay so in lab session we finish the spotlight transformation mip map specular lighting texture function multi texture texture object design okay so we'll see the code kind of uh, what we have done okay so we have these two shaded and then we have light shaded and then we created two objects two texture objects okay this is for kind of uh, a multi texturing and then uh, we compile the code this is the compilation of the code and we have two objects sphere and cube one for model and one for light and we set the all the variables in one go and then in display uh, first we do light display and then uh, we do uh, for the second texture okay and then uh, no no this is then uh, we are doing yeah this is for we are doing for the texture and then we are doing transformation for the model and we are drawing it finally and then uh, we are a kind of uh, this is drawing the light cube okay and then uh, reshaping it and keyboard we have local code for transformation and then so 
this is what we have done now we can kind of uh, uh, we if i want to kind of uh, remove the spotlight effect so what we need to do here okay. so spot factor uh, okay so spot factor we can make it if that is the case so to remove this i believe we can just remove it so so whatever we did we will remove it and here we will add this whatever we have done so this is ambience and this is diffuse too and then we can just remove it let's see it should compile the spot factor we can just remove it okay so it compile and then we can bring it near so whatever we are seeing that is the ambient so uh, if i rotate the light whatever we are seeing the whatever left side this is ambient so ambience we can change if we want so it is right now we are uh, ambience is blue we can make it uh, kind of yellow generally people make it white so it should okay so ambience is i believe it is visible that it is really yellow so ambience is yellowish okay we cannot bring because it is a positional light it will go beyond it and this will show like this okay so i can rotate the model where we are i believe we are rotating texture we are at the texture okay so we will rotate the model and model is in this condition because the texture rotation 